Hello all, this is Dr. Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar for latest tech videos on unboxings, server administration, embedded systems, cloud computing, simulations, big data, Linux administration, research methodology, ethical hacking and many more. Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Cyborg Hawk, a Ubuntu based advanced penetration and forensic based Linux operating system on VMware Workstation 14.0 Professional Edition. Now before we dive in the installation of Cyborg on uh, VMware Workstation, let us first of all understand what is Cyborg Linux. Cyborg is a Ubuntu based security distribution designed for penetration testing and forensic investigations. Although it is primarily designed for security enthusiasts and professionals, it can also be used by any Linux user as a desktop system for day to day computing. Besides standard Ubuntu software, Cyborg Linux has pre installed Genome, Metacity, and Compass desktop environment with more than 700 plus open source tools for penetration testing and a custom built Linux kernel 3.13.0 40-generic. Now what is Cyborg? Cyborg was the first released in 4th December 2014 under codename Cyborg Hawk as the most advanced and powerful and yet beautiful penetration testing distribution ever created. Lined up with the ultimate collection of tools for pro ethical hackers and cyber security experts. Similarly, security in your IT infrastructure with Cyborg. Its real strength comes from the understanding that tester requires a strong and efficient system that builds from a strong selection of tools integrated with a stable Linux environment. It has 700 plus tools with the popular distro have 300 plus and also dedicated tools and menu for mobile security and malware analysis. What is all about I will be demonstrating after we install the Cyborg Linux. Now what are the distribution features? It contains the following exploitation kit, a toolkit to test the integrity for your IT infrastructure, best exploit for best results. Reverse engineering, reversing the core code for the analysis by going backwards through the development cycle. Forensics, uncover the digital evidence, investigate them and interpreting electronic data for use in a court of law. Stress testing, determine the amount of stress your computer, network program or device can bear. Mobile security, Penetrate the mobile security and fix the vulnerabilities of it. Mobile security covers even known platform for smartphones. And last but not the least, wireless security. Secure your wireless word because as you know, we have the Wi-Fi heavens now. So it is very important to test your Wi-Fi network so that nobody can be using your internet and penetrating your network into outside communications. So let's deep dive into the website. So the official website is cyborg.zetrela.com or if you can search Cyborg Linux or Cyborg Essentials on Google, you will land into this website. So it's a very clean website. You can find a very good graphics which explains Cyborg Hawk Linux as the world's most beautiful, powerful and advanced penetration distro ever. And uh, you can see that the interface is also very cool and it's a pure hacking operating system. So it contains exploitation toolkits, stress testing, reverse engineering, forensics, mobile security, wireless security, which I've already explained and some highlights you can see that it is robust, versatile, stable, power, look and feel and hacker friendly. And if you go to gallery, you can find lots of images which are there as a screenshots for you. So you can find uh, very good screenshots and uh, much of the interface I will be also demonstrating how to do that. So if you click on download, you can uh, just go with Cyborg Hawk and uh, you can find that uh, the latest version is version 1.1 which is available and you can download over here in order to download it. So if you click on tools, <coughs> so it will take some time to install. Uh, so you will find all the information of the tools which are available and which comes readily handy and installed into this operating system which contains uh, analyzing live host, Cisco engine, database, network. So everything in the planet I can say it is available over here. So you can see the details over here and if you click on documentation, you will find the details of the documentation, how to operate and how to install as well as how to operate with different tools, virtual machine install, features, everything is available so it is clean documented and you can click on tutorials also in order to get yourself aware how to operate with this Cyborg Hot Linux. So I can say it is much more advanced as compared to Kali, Parrot, Sec and even Network Security Toolkit and you can even register and even contact them for your any problems. So now let's deep dive and start our VMware Workstation Pro and let's start with the installation procedure for this. So now let us click on create a new virtual machine. Let's go with typical and click on next. So I just go with I will install the operating system later. 
and click on next and I click on Linux and I take the version as Ubuntu 64-bit. Why I've taken Ubuntu 64-bit? Because Cyborg Hawk is based on Ubuntu. So I click on next and I just give this name as Cyborg Hawk Linux. So I click on next and I, rec I recommend you to go at least with 30 GB for hard disk drive. So I click on next and I click on customize hardware. So I recommend to increase the RAM to 2 and plus GB. So I allocate 2 GB of RAM to this and under processors I just go with the 2 cores and under the new CD I just click with the ISO image and I click on browse and I just go with my D drive where the operating systems are there and Cyborg Hawk 1.1 will be there. So if I right click over here and I click on properties you will find that it is about a 3 GB of size. So 3.07 GB of size is the size in order to download. So I recommend you to download it very carefully. So I click on open and I click on close and I click on finish. So the machine will be created right now. So let's power on this virtual machine. So I click on view and full screen. So now you can see that uh, if we have the live, we have the X-Force Pizza, we have the install, mem test and boot so I don't want to go with live I just go with the direct installer so I click on install that is start the installer directly and press enter so it will start with the installation So let's wait for a few seconds when it starts. So now you can see that the graphical install has started. So I click on English and I click on continue. So over here it is saying for best results it should have 22.8 GB as you can see that I've already allocated the 30 GB for this. So I click on download install while installing and install this third party software and I click on continue. So it will now detect the hard disk drive. So it can take some time depending on your system. So what I have to do is to just option this that is erase disk and install cyborg and I click on install now. So I click on continue. Now it will uh, ask me where I am. I have to select in the word where the location of mine is there. So it has already detected my location so I click on continue. And I have to select the keyboard so I just go with the US based keyboard. Okay, I have to search. Okay, English USA and English US. So I click on continue. So now you can see that it has started copying the files. So it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to install and deploy. So once it gets installed, I will come back to this video. So you can see that almost uh, the file copying has procedure has been done. So let's wait for the next procedure to start. So if you uh, open that you can find that uh, some activities are going on. So uh, till it uh, continues let us go with some awareness of this cyborg. You can see that Firefox web browser is there and uh, getting help with cyborg it is very good because they're having easily contact page of Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, active community and uh, it is having additional packages as it is Ubuntu based so Synaptic package manager is already available. Design and develop for hackers you can see that uh, everything is over here including the Metasploit framework and air crack for hacking the wireless networks and uh, desktop cube is there fire paint and animation it is cool and enjoy the desktop with genome based desktop but uh, in the future I would like to see as a mate based desktop for uh, Cyborg Linux and uh, all types of things which you require a thousand plus security tools that Cyborg makes the most accessible operating system in the world. So you can say that uh, if you compare Kali Linux with uh, Cyborg so Cyborg is modern 
but Kali Linux is coping up. I cannot say that it is far behind. It is coping up. But uh, let's try with this type of operating system in the real world that uh, what kind of forensics and uh, penetration testing can be done of wireless communications or uh, server penetrations and information gathering and what can be done in order to find some vulnerabilities in Android phones as compared to Kali Linux. That is going to be the live testing videos in the future of my channel. So it is taking some time. So now you can see that it has started installing the system. So the installation will take some time. So let's wait for installation to get complete. So it is already mounting the target runs. So now you can see that it has uh, completed the installation almost and it is configuring the target systems. So now less time will be required in order to get the full-fledged operating system running on on VMware Workstation. So it is now detecting the hardware, USB storage modules, configuring the hardware. And I soon promise that uh, my channel will be coming up with uh, more tutorial videos of Cyborg Hawk 1.1 Linux to make you a professional ethical hacker as well as penetration tester and somewhat I will do some videos on forensics also so that make you aware regarding how the live forensics can be done in the real world. So configuring hardware can take some time. So you can see that the generic boot process is going on. So now you can see that it is installing the packages and now the full system installation is there. Configuring the bootloader that is called the grub that is grand unified bootloader. And now less time will be required in order to update and everything too. So it is moving the extra packages, running the DPKJ that is Debian package and at any time we can start with reboot. So make it sure that you grab a coffee when you install this because uh, the installation can take up to 15 to 20 minutes or maybe 25 minutes depending on the speed. So now it is downloading some packages from the internet. So that's the reason uh, we have uh, connected the internet during the installation. So the installation is complete and congratulations that we have uh, done the installation in a successful manner. So let's click on restart now. So after restarting we will be greeted up with the main interface, all the tools, everything will be set out. because it is heavy distribution it will take some time. So you can see that it has welcomed us. Now let's see the interface. So let's press enter. So you can see that it has started, uh, it has done with the reinstallation and the restart. So let's press enter and let's fire up with the install, uh, with the main interface of Cyborg Linux. So after that, I will be demonstrating some of the commands. So here is the opening interface. So it is somewhat heavy, you can see. Okay. 
So you can see that the Ubuntu based cursor has come. Yes, so now you can see that it has successfully rebooted. So I give this uh, username as Cyborg and the default password which is coming over there that is tour which is the same as compared to Kalinis but the only difference is that we give the username as root but over here we give the username as cyborg so two so it will now go to the genome based desktop So you see that a new version of Ubuntu is available. Would you like to upgrade? So I don't go with the upgrade right now, but you can upgrade it just with a click. So I click on don't upgrade. So I click on OK. OK. So here we have the applications. Under here we have the accessories. Under Cyborg, we have the special toolkit, information gathering. We have, that is the vulnerability assessment, exploitation kit. We have privilege acceleration, maintaining access, reporting, reverse engineering, stress testing, forensics. So it is filled up with all the tools. So wireless communication is also there, hardware hacking, VoIP analysis, mobile security, as well as malware analysis. So let's go and uh, fire up some commands. Okay, so who am I? It's Cyborg. So let's log in with root. So uh, let's give it the password that is zero password. Okay. So let's log in with root. SU space minus. And you can see that root is login. So let's go with the name of the system, host name CTL. So you can find all the details. And if we can even go with cat slash etc slash lsb hyphen release. So you can see all the releases there. So Ubuntu 14.04 is right to running. And uh, we, can just inst uh, we can just update the packages by the command that is apt hyphen get update. Because uh, it is 14.04, so some of the packages will not be fully installed because some uh, Ubuntu support is already closed for these packages. So if you upgrade it to 16.04, all the packages will be installed. So no need to worry for the repositories. So you can see that some of the packages are not available. So you just upgrade and you can just go over there. So let us install the open VMware tools. So apt hyphen get install. That is open hyphen VM hyphen tools hyphen desktop. So just press Y and press enter. So after that you can just reboot the system and you can have it. Okay. So it is unpacking. So let's even uh, see the display also. So under accessories we have, uh, I can say that they should be there. Uh, so our system tools, uh, we have the system settings. Okay, so here we have the displays, so let's go with the display. So I just keep this configuration and I just close it. Okay, so VMware tools are there. So in this video, I have just demonstrated how to install Cyborg uh, Hawk Linux. So do give this a shot. Do comment and like this video and do share with me how was your experience with this video. Thank you so much for watching.